harrowing moment cops find remains of Constance Martin's baby Victoria stuffed in little bag filled with rubbish. Cops found the remains of Constance Martin's baby girl stuffed in a little bag filled with rubbish, under a table topped with out-of-date milk. The horror moment was caught on police body cams, days after the aristocrat and her partner Mark Gordon, 49, refused to tell them where newborn Victoria was. The shocking footage was shown in the Old Bailey today, where the pair are standing trial. On February 27 last year, police tracked Martin and Gordon down to Brighton but they would not say where their baby was. Tragically, Victoria was already dead after her parents went off-grid, living in a thin and flimsy tent in the middle of winter. The officer who found her has now detailed the harrowing moment that unfolded on March 1 last year. PC Alan Ralph, who had been sent from Scotland Yard to help in the search, said he'd noticed the distinctive little bag in CCTV before he joined the case. In body cam footage on the day of the horror find, he can be seen approaching a disused shed near where the couple had been living in an allotment. There. PC Ralph noticed a broken window and lifted the door to get in. He recalled the smell, telling the court, I remember saying either something is dead in there or something has died. Inside the PC and other cops found out-of-date milk and bread on a table, with a supermarket bag underneath. He then told one of his fellow officers he was sure he had noticed the little bag previously, and that they should look through it. PC Ralph told jurors, I lifted it and it was heavy and there was no reason for it to be heavy from what I could see inside. I remember quite clearly there was just a lot of rubbish. Inside they could see two baby nappies, a pink baby blanket, drinks cans, cardboard, leaves and other pieces of rubbish. But one of his colleagues said they could see what looked like a doll's head. PC Ralph continued, the head was to the left. It was concave, the top of the head. That was what we touched. I unwrapped it two or three times before I got to a part where I could see red pooling. A couple of seconds after, we went to the right hand side. I put my hand down. My hand slipped on something. I looked and that was the baby's leg. My hand was soaking wet. He said the baby was very pale and very cold to the touch. Martin sobbed in court today as the start of her police interview after the baby was found was played. She began crying in the interview after confirming the baby was hers, before telling police, her name was Victoria. The 36-year-old also told police she calls Gordon her husband. The court had previously heard how the couple went on the run with their newborn daughter after their car burst into flames on a motorway in Bolton on January 5 last year. This sparked a nationwide search, while the couple went and lived off-grid until they were arrested weeks later. The couple deny manslaughter by gross negligence, concealment of the birth of a child, cruelty to a person under 16, and perverting the course of justice. They also deny causing or allowing the death of a child, an alternative charge to manslaughter, between January 4 and February 27 last year. The trial continues.